This is a series of 100 films about Japanese places I've been. And this is a film about a place where foreigners can buy overpriced brunch. Ropongi is a neighborhood in Minato Ward, Tokyo Prefecture, in the Kanto region, the area around Tokyo, on the island of Honshu in eastern Japan. It's serviced by the Hibiya subway line and the Toei Oedo line. The first time I went here was. The first time I came here, it was my third week in Tokyo. I was with some friends from my training group, and it's notorious as a place with bars that cater to English speakers, in the same way the Maz Eisley Cantina in Star Wars caters to English speakers. Ropongi centers on two high-rise developments, Ropongi Hills and Tokyo Midtown. Both are massive mixed-use complexes with a skyscraper at their core. Mai. And Ropongi is also where a lot of Japanese celebrities live, especially those of the Johnny's group. That's a label for major singers in Japan. Now, rumor is they have terrible contracts and they make terrible money, but they live in luxury in the Tokyo Midtown building. While much of the building is office space, the upper half is the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, which has the most expensive hotel suite in the country. Mai. Around the corner from Midtown is Roppongi Hills. The main building, the Mori Tower, houses offices such as Google. The top two floors are an observation deck and an art gallery, which brings in quite a few decent exhibitions. And behind the main building are two residential towers, and around the grounds of the complex are several lower-rise buildings. These house shops, restaurants, movie theaters, and Television Asahi, one of the large private broadcasters, and between them is a traditional Japanese garden. Despite all this, I find Roppongi to be one of the absolute worst places in Japan. There's a highway that cuts through the neighborhood. Not to mention service at restaurants in the area is terrible. Maybe they expect foreign people will be put up with lower standards as long as they, um, and the, well, I mean, they will, as long as the waitstaff can speak English. On the bright side, the movie theater in Roppongi Hills is where the Tokyo Film Festival is held in October. While it trails Pusan in importance for Asian film festivals, it is a good showcase of Japanese films and it also runs a selection of Asian art films. At Christmas time, Tokyo Midtown has become a popular place for what Japanese people call an illumination. That's what I call Christmas lights. The entire back lawn and an avenue of trees are lit up with blue lights that pulsate to ambient music. It's definitely worth a visit if you're in Tokyo in December. Just be warned, if you're a male foreigner walking in the streets near the main Roppongi intersection, you'll be harassed by touts from Eastern Europe and Africa. They're harmless, but annoying, and they're trying to get you into one of the overpriced hostess bars. Of course, if you want to spend your money buying overpriced drinks and making conversation with pretty girls in prom dresses, who am I to judge? If you have someone special in your life and you stick to the Roppongi Hills complex, uh, it's a pretty good place for a date, and it connects directly to the subway, so no worries about the weather. How do I get there? If you're new to Japan, you'll probably want to start in Tokyo, the largest city in the world. From Shinjuku, take the Toei Oedo line to Roppongi, about nine minutes. As always, remember that this information may be out of date by the time you're watching this. The word of the day. The word of the day is mae. It means before when referring to time, and in front when referring to a physical place. So if you want to remember this word, feel free to watch this video ten more times and repeat along with me, or at least that's what I do. Next time. So that's it until next time when we visit the Tokyo neighborhood that'll make you feel like you're in Europe. So until then, sayonara.